Oh, I'm sorry that I'm so sunburnt as well. Just ignore that. Hi guys, it's Talisha and today I am doing a video on to how to keep or to get your competition horse fit. Alright, so to keep your competition horse fit, I really recommend having a schedule. So I have a really set out schedule for Jeff. And pretty much I write it, I just write it down on my notes in my phone and I follow it day by day so it involves a lot of different things one is lunging one is flat rides and one is my gallop slash canter sets um, I also chuck in some jump days but I don't do much jumping with Jeff so of course if you're doing if you're more eventers or show jumpers it's important to chuck in a couple of days of jumping here and there so I'm going to walk you through what I do with each one of my rides. I ride six days a week, occasionally five days a week. So Jeb has one day a week off, occasionally two. I like to mix my weeks up so it's not a, always a certain amount of, you know, lunging or riding. It's always kind of mix match. Whatever, honestly, will fit into my week the best. I do work. I've graduated school so I am working. Um, so it can be hard to fit it into that. But I normally have a Monday or a Tuesday off or whenever she's competed, I have the next day off. And yeah, so I'll walk you through what I do in my rides. Um, for lunging, I'll start with that. I use a Pessoa system. Now, you have to be very particular with how you adjust the Pessoa system. If you have it too tight, it really is uncomfortable for the horse and you're pretty much just pulling on their mouth. So what you want to do is I have mine pretty loose, meaning if Jeff wants to, she can put her head right up. However, I drive her forward and when she gets driven forward, she has that slight pressure that pulls her head down, but it's very slight. So if she really didn't want to, she could keep going with her head up. But the more I push her forward, the more likely is she is to collect. Because as you guys know, or you may not know, but the main thing with getting a horse to collect is pushing them forward. It's not the pressure on their mouth or on the reins or anything like that, it's really pushing them forward into the bridle with your leg or clicking when you're lunging or using a lunge whip, whatever you use. So I do that for about 40 minutes when I lunge, 20 minutes on each side. Majority of it is trotting as that builds up the most muscles and, the, and fitness, but I also do a few laps of canter here and there as well. Keep in mind that when you lunge, it is more of a workout for them um, than it is riding flat work half the time because of how tight the circles are. So it's a bit harder for them than it is when you ride. When you lunge, you don't have to use a Pessoa system. You can use side reins. I don't like side reins though because they're pretty much just forcing your horse into the headset where Pessoa, the Pessoa system can, is engaging their hind as well. And... Um, when I use the Pessoa system, I have it. So if she really wanted to, she can ride with her head up, like literally like a giraffe. And trust me, she does that sometimes. But once I push her forward, she always puts her head in, in on the bit. That's just what she does. Like it won't, she, not all horses will do that, but at the moment she's quite responsive with the forwardness. So as soon as you ask her to go forward, she'll put her head in the correct spot. Now, I do find the Pessoa system's really good for trying to get your horse more uphill. Jet is it holds her head very downhill, I'm sure you guys have noticed. But it's not a thing where I can shorten my reins and push her forward. Because when I do that, no matter how soft my reins are, she'll open her mouth and she's just not comfortable ridden like that. So I ride her on a bit of a looser rein. She's still got her head in frame. She's just not as uphill as... I would prefer her to be, but the main thing at the moment is for her to be comfortable. I don't mind that she doesn't look like a champion little hacking pony because her head isn't uphill. But with the Pessoa system, it is working to get her built more uphill. So she's starting to carry her head a bit higher and more comfortably while she's uphill. So then I can put that into when I ride her. So when I do my flat rides, I particularly focus on getting her to engage. Um, I pretty much run through everything we do, which is leg yields, walk to canters, square halts, reversing, and we are now working on flying changes. So I make sure I do all the things that I know she does well and she knows, which is walk to canters, leg yields, and halts, and all of those bits and pieces. A lot, heaps and heaps and heaps of transitions, and then I also chuck in 
um, the new stuff we're doing which is flying changes but I only start working on new things if she's really good that ride if both our heads aren't quite in it there's no point in doing something new because it pro most likely just won't work and it'll just get frustrating for both of us um, when I jump which I very rarely do um, but when I do jump I normally just do a lot of grids or I do some jump courses um, when I train I normally do the higher height than we actually jump in competition just whatever she's comfortable on doing at home and the same with cross country I normally do oh, like holy hall I jump the highest jumps but they're not you know crazily high they're like 80 to a meter so I do those and I love doing a lot of gymnastics and grids and yeah but I don't jump much so I don't have too much information on what we do for that now but my final ride which I will do a full video on what I involve in these but they're my gallop slash canter sets so they're the main key fitness part of my workout I do them every four days so on every fourth day we do them and at the moment they're only half an hour long however we've just finished doing two weeks of that so we are upping it and it will be a bit longer she does the half an hour one too easily so it's majority of it is trot and canter with at the moment with only six minutes of walk and I can go into more detail about that in another video because it can be quite a lengthy video on how I do them but yeah so then on my days off I just let her graze and let her do her thing she just chills in the paddock with Kai and she eats on top of keeping your horse really fit and ready for competitions it is really important that they are on a really good diet um, I really recommend a lot of roughage so grass loosen all of that hay kind of stuff um, my horses get a biscuit of loosen in the morning and in the afternoon they get their hard feed um, in winter they do get more feed but it's summer at the moment but so they're not on quite as much because the grass is growing so well um, but yeah I and Jeff has her own special feed then on top of that she gets oats um, oat and chaff she's on a supplement called Techniflex she also gets molasses salt because it encourages drinking um, and she gets some vegetable oil to make her coat shine so yeah and she gets that once a day so two scoops of oat and chaff two scoops of her own mixed feed then one scoop of oats because um, that just gives her a bit of extra bulk then she gets a watered down molasses in about half a scoop um, and then two tablespoons of salt which is just normal table salt and half a cup of vegetable oil and that keeps her weight on keeps her really fit and in good condition fills her out quite nicely um yeah so i also like to chuck in occasionally so like once a week or once a fortnight a nice relaxing ride which is just a trail just walking around the country roads which i do occasionally just so she's not in constant work you know she can relax she knows that she's not always being worked when she's ridden um, and if she's been going really well I do give her two days off occasionally or when I'm busy and can't ride her or work her one day she will get two days off at the end of the competition season I give her about a month or two off or if we have a big gap in shows I'll give her about a month off um, but yeah so that's the work I keep her in at the moment that's all I do with working her um, I have put that schedule together this year so it is fairly new I've only just started doing the fitness sets um, but she's doing them really well and I'm already seeing an improvement on her so yeah I'll show you what my notes look like so here is January and then this is all of my workouts on January and then so I've set it out pretty much the whole month I do set them out about a week or two in advance just so in case something comes up after that I don't have it already set up so it is the 17th today and I just gave her a lunch so then once I've done I put a tick near it so they have ticks near it and then tomorrow I'm lunging then flat ride on Friday and then canter slash gallop sets on Saturday but yeah so I hope that video helped you guys and gave you some tips on how to keep your competition horses in work and fit and ready to kill those comps this year um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my barrel show vlog Ooh, it's a very exciting vlog my first show of the year <laughs> okay bye